So yeah, hey, welcome to the first talk of the Wim Berlin September 2019 meetup. And uh, my t my name is I'm Matthias Günther. Uh, I'm called. Uh, you can find me on the internet with my nickname Vicky Matze. And in this evening, I want to show you Dev Talks. Um, uh, are there any people here in the audience who already heard or used Dev Talks? So please say yeah or no. No. No? No. Okay, so nobody, so that's great. <laughs> so uh, that's a perfect, perfect way to show you what this tool is about. Okay, DevTalks, yeah, it's a nice tool and for um, searching, viewing and finding API documentation for um, different languages. Um, they are, um, nearly every language um, is there available on DevTalks. Um, it, has, it offers you a very nice uh, interface where you can search for certain functions, um, certain components or anything else um, regarding your framework you, you want to use and want to search what documentation is available. And it's very easy to um, add support for a language there which is still not documented. So um, there is a great um, documentation about how you um, get support for your language. You have to uh, create some scrapers and add a bunch of files. Uh, I did that uh, for Patrino and it's now part of the dev docs and you can um, use it um, everywhere. Okay, and since now we are with Berlin, um, I want to show you how you can use dev docs in combination with Wim. But um, up for now, um, it's time to show you a demo about DevDocs. So um, to um, have an overview of what DevDocs looks like. Okay, here, welcome to the dark side of the dark reader. The dark reader had to for um, Firefox. This um, yeah, tool is needed in order that you see something here uh, on the DevDocs um, API page. And um, as you can see here, um, probably you can't see it probably, but you can guess. Um, here's a big search field where you can search after the thing you want to uh, learn more about. And here in the button below, there's a disabled button. So here you, um, can, you, you, you can see all the disabled frameworks um, from which you are not searching, um, which you not search for the certain terms. So let's say I um, only want to, um, let me see. How can I disable that? Yeah. So yeah. Maybe we should wait. No. Okay. Um, currently, this is not possible somehow. <laughs> okay. Let's say I want to search after. Um, yeah, that's maybe the problem why it's disabled. But anyways, uh, the Wi-Fi connection is now broken. But let's say we are searching for form, and as you can see. Form is available in different frameworks, like here it's an, an HTML, HTML5 tag or um, something in JavaScript or um, especially what I wanted only to search for here, um, form something in Patrino. And if I'm um, clicking on that and if I would have um, Wi-Fi connection, then you should see the documentation about um, this little piece here. Okay. But yeah, but that's no problem when we have no uh, Wi-Fi. I will shortly show you a solution to that. Okay, um, since you've now seen uh, in a short example about DevDocs, now it's time to see um, which plugins are available in order to um, get a nice combination of Wim and DevDocs. And basically, I found two plugins. Um, so the first one is RIESD DevDocs Vim. This is a tool um, I installed and used. And the second one, it has a little bit less features than the first one. And um, yeah, but if you, if you like to have uh, less features, and maybe then that's a tool you can try out, and maybe it uh, fits better to you than, or it's better for you than it is for me. Okay. So um, basically what DevDocs Swim offers you, it offers you um, two commands. Um, the first command is uh, DevDocs all. 
So that means that uh, the query you passed in for that command you search um, globally through all enabled for all enabled uh, frameworks. And of course, if you are um, in a big project and your cursor is under a certain word and you want to um, get more information about that, you can use devdocs under cursor to uh, just to search after the word uh, where you where you current position of your um, where the current position of your cursor is. So um, and. Um, Let's say you don't. You're working. You have worked on a project with certain languages, and you want to have a fast search, and you only want to uh, enable different um, frameworks. So, like for example, you're developing some um, um, Ruby app and in combination with React. So you would add this option in your uh, configuration file for him. So we are using here all file types um, for Ruby should only enable the Patrino documentation and files with JavaScript um, are searching for the uh, React app. Okay, um, and um, it's um, possible to run the um, docs locally. So here is a um, short um, 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 way how to do this, a short introduction, so you need to um, Yes, the sad thing about this is that you need to install Ruby and uh, install some dependencies, but hey, that's the way you, uh, to go in order to use uh, the dev docs. Um, but uh, when you uh, download um, the, the code for that, you then just um, st start um, a rec session and then dev docs are available locally on your machine. And I prepared something, um, I downloaded already the code for the dev docs and um, let me check this out yeah here you go so i installed the basic dev docs repository and installed then the patrino and the uh, react documentation so um, let's execute that one so it was bundle exec here so here you can see um, there's uh, commands uh, for dev docs so that uses um, here at this command you can get a list of all um, available um, frameworks with uh, bundle exec tor doc lists and uh, when you found the framework of your choice you can then easily download it with tor docs download and then the name of the framework okay since i don't have any wi-fi uh, i will just start my <laughs> local server yeah takes a while so it's not the fastest machine but um, I had a Raspberry one so may, maybe Raspberry Pi is even faster than this network <laughs> that's that could be but yeah um, but it's still uh, but we have time and we are patient here okay in the meanwhile I will um, show you the uh, the config for um, to enable the local um, the local instance of uh, devdocs that it's uh, only one locally on your machine so all you have to do is so say here you configure the devdocs url and say here um, every time when you are using um, the devdocs command please please use my um, local host on that port and yep, search for those files okay and here i'm enabling as well the file map for ruby files Okay, that's it. So maybe in the meanwhile, yes, um, the web server started. That was great. Uh, only the elevator music is missing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there are some plugins which enable you that in Ruby, in the Ruby world. But anyways, okay. Um, then let's, um, yeah, let's open some um, Ruby file. Let's see. Yeah. So there you go, and now devdocs um, all, and now let's say I want to see what form is, and there, the browser is opening, oh, and it's coming, it's coming, yeah, wait for it, yeah, wait for it, it's coming, yeah, even without Wi-Fi, I got here the documentation, and as you can see, um, as you can hardly see, yeah. 
but it's still there. So here you get the documentation about forms. So it's directly the name I searched for. And, oh no, wait, it's form for React, sorry. <laughs> here, there you go. So we got here uh, the format or uh, basically maybe, ah yeah, maybe I was just searching for the form builder. So uh, let's do that again, form builder. And I think now I get a pretty or a better match for that search term. So let's search for form builder. Yep. And there you go, yeah, a perfect match. Yeah. And then I can um, go through the API documentation for that and see what I can do with the form builder and um, get all the parameters for that. So that's basically what you uh, what you can can do if you don't have any Wi-Fi connection and want to use DevDocs locally. Okay, now now the second command was um, search after the word under the cursor, and let's try that. There you go. And here, then I'm searching. Um, for, yeah, it's coming. It's working. And there you go. I also got the match here for. for Maybe it's just cached. It was the same thing as before. Why don't you try a different example? Yeah, com you're right. Um, uh, let's say logger. Yeah. Mm. Nah. Mm. Nah. I was a cursor. Ah, maybe all under cursor, but oh, maybe it's a difference. Let's oh, check yeah. this out. Ah, okay. It's coming. Now it's coming. Yeah, and it's always opening a new tab, right? That's a little bit annoying. Depends. Depends <laughs> but well, maybe but maybe you can configure it and make it only uh, opening one tab. Otherwise, you get a whole tab mess up in your browser for your browser. Okay, but yeah. These are the two commands you can uh, use in DevDocs, or I used so far. Yeah. So, yeah, we went through that. And, yeah, basically, that was it. About DevDocs. Thank you. Are there any questions? Oh, okay. Go so on. you can apply this to some prefabricated documentation. Yeah. In, in which formats was that again? Any kind? Any kind, yeah. PDFs. So, um, PDFs? No, it must be something um, which converts to HTML. But any mm -hmm. um, any framework which has some kind of documentation language um, and which generates an HTML output are passed. For any the kind dev docs. Um, of those re uh, yeah. restructured, no, structured texts. Yeah. Markdown. And yeah, if you use Pandoc or Markdown and then transform it to a certain format, then. You, but then you have to write, you, uh, you have to, uh, to a little bit of um, um, things to change in the scrapers. And right. So you have to write some, okay. There you can find the headlines, the functions, and the titles and descriptions. So you have to adjust them a little bit locally. This could be then a little bit of work you uh, you have to do. But it's possible to um, adjust DevDocs to your documentation format. Yeah. And it's and, and the author of it. Uh, if you have struggled with it or if something is not working, they're they're very or he's very friendly and helping you. That's what uh, he helped me with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. If there are no uh, so any further questions, not right now. Okay, not right now. Maybe later, and maybe not. Okay. Thanks, you.